this is the community link show with Carol and all the crew. So we're just bringing all the conscious people then. So now we have Monique. Hello. Hi, I'm here again. <laughs> <laughs> she is here. Um, and we're going to be talking about Gloucester Works. Now, there's been a few rumours about <laughs> Gloucester Works. Um, I don't know, like running out of funding or maybe not being able to continue. Is this true? At the moment, we're just... Business is normal. I mean, lots of things have been said, but we're just ignoring it. We are still have funding for training for people yeah. that work or live in Gloucester. So you can do a variety of training, including beauty. If you want to be a security guard, you can do security training. You still get all of the support that we have been given, you, given to people over the last couple of years. We're still open for business. The phone's still ringing off the hook. So I'd like people to stop talking about these rumours. <laughs> and if you need help, just pick up the phone and call us um, on 0800-002-9838. And you can get support with CVs, um, different career directions, if you need a bit of careers advice. Um, we can help you with training and funding. You just need to get in contact with us. Even if you just want to chat to see what it's all about and um, what we can support you with. We do work with people between the ages of 16 and 65. Depending on your age and where you live, we'll determine what project you'll be eligible for. But we can help anybody with anything, Okay, I right. say. Because, um, okay, so you work, with quite young, you work with people my age as yeah. well. So um, I've got a question. You know with uh, C- well applications? Yeah job applications now because i've applied to a few random places mm-hmm. but they, i don't think they have specific vacancies mm-hmm. at the moment so do you do you think it's still worth giving in applications even if they don't have specific vacancies at that time i think you can do that because sometimes with those jobs it depends on what's going on at the time so they might suddenly have someone leave and think oh we need to find someone and they've got 10 cvs waiting and to give a call i, I mean i've got in contact with people that's given us CVs when we've had vacancies and I've rang them up like two months later and said are you still looking for work and they're like yeah and I was like well I've got a vacancy do you want to apply for it yeah. and they didn't expect that so I would always encourage you to do that however I do think there's enough jobs for people to be looking and job searching yeah. for at the moment and that's what we support people with as well okay. we work quite closely with Amiga who delivers some training on our behalf for CV writing and they give you the top tips like just a simple tip for example if you load your CV onto like Monster or someone like that, um, you shouldn't just load it on there into obscurity and just not check it. You need to keep reloading it up there because, you know, they, they do check it quite regularly. And every okay. seven days, they're going to look at the last seven days. So if yours has been on there for two months, it might get lost in the in the mix. But So you need to be, if you ring up an agency and you set email your CV to them, you need to check that they've got it. And then check a week later to see if you're eligible. If you're not, then move on to the next one. Don't just email an agency and hope that they're going to contact you because they're not going to do that. Okay. You need to really sort of say, hi, you know, I've sent you my CV. Did you receive it? Um, have you got a vacancy? And if you keep emailing them and they don't get back to you, then you know there isn't a vacancy there. So you need to go to the next agency. You know, it's all about constantly being on the ball, constantly... Um, asking people if they've received what you've sent them just just basic things like that people don't do and then they uh, a lot of people moan that this, the, the agency hasn't got back to me i said well did you check that they even got your email no i said well how do you know they got it exactly it's just okay. stuff like that so i would do that definitely go around giving out your cvs um and covering letters with it telling them a bit about yourself and what your skills are but also do some really active job search as well look at job site gloss jobs you know the, the standard ones and uh, just keep keep applying there are jobs out there i mean we've got job folders and stuff so what are you looking for like retail part-time retail yeah i've and got anything, some it's like for 16 year olds i always think I'm, I'm looking around because i'm not i'm not in sixth form mm-hmm. so i'm like on the younger side of it and i always think oh well they're not going to apply someone like me but you don't know that though because it's going to sound terrible but pay minimum wage I don't want to say that too yeah, loud. No, no. so you're you know it's I would say if you look around a lot of the retail shops a lot of the people working there are quite young yeah you know you do have a few 16 year olds it's not as easy as it was to get a job as a 16 year old I must admit because you usually used to be able to just walk into a retail job part time little Saturday girl or <laughs> guy um, but I mean I've got some vacancies on me so I can show yeah. them later if you like Thank you. Um, and also do you have any like major do's and don'ts for CVs major don't 
do not put CV at the top, curricular VT, because they know what it is. Okay. Do not oh, put your... Really? Yeah, do not put... I don't know why people put... They know what it is. You don't need to lay, title it. You know, it's just... it's just That's just a big no-no. People do that all the time. Always um, put your, obviously, your name, address, and all that at the top, and your email address and phone number. A phone number that they actually can contact you on. <laughs> Because a lot of people put their house number, but they're never at home. There's no point in that. Always put your key skills on and make sure they relate to the jobs that you're going for and the key skills that they're asking for. So if they say you need to be IT literate and you need to be able to use Excel, Word, database access, then you need to put as one of your key skills, IT lit- literate, able to use Excel, Word. You need to literally, you're not copying it, you're just saying, actually, yeah, I can do that. If they say you've got to pay attention to detail because you're going to be um, looking at lots of things and if you get it wrong, it's going to have a detrimental effect to the company, then you need to put on your CV, pays attention to detail, demonstrated in my previous roles you know good customer service skills excellent um people skills and 12 years experience in administration this is your time to sell yourself you've got to be the big i am so everything on there needs to be clear and it needs to be you you need to be able to skim it because we've had cvs in the past and we've had hundreds and i thought i can't read all these so you literally the first quarter if you haven't got them in that first quarter of your cv it'll go in the no and they'll only go back if they haven't got enough from the yes pile Okay. So you want to make that yes pile, don't you? Just yeah. one thing. I know um, I know myself, and I imagine there's quite a lot of other people like myself on the same problem. I'm just incapable of selling myself. I just can't do it full stop. If there's any sort of tips, advice, anything at all. You just need to look at yourself and think, what am I good at? It's not about making yourself look like, oh, I'm, I'm great, I'm amazing. It's about being, you know, there's a thin line between confident and being a bit, you know, I don't know if you can say that yourself. Way. Yeah, fully for yourself. That's a better term. So, for example, you... I'll talk about you then. You do... You come on a radio show. So, you know, you can work well under pressure because what you all have to do in it, I, would, I wouldn't be able to do, I don't think. So you could put that as one of your key skills. Good communication skills. IT literate. Um, can you use... Can you use Word and Excel and databases? Can you use all of those? Any of them? Yeah, well, there you go then. But you have a... You can put basic IT skills. Um, into, you know, you can use the internet. Customer service skills. You've got to take calls from customer people, listen to the radio, then interpret them through the radio. So I can probably tell you about six skills that you've got that you probably wouldn't have thought of. No, I must be, none of them sort of crossed my mind whatsoever. But it's my know. job to be able to pull that out of people. Is there... Um I don't know if this is a silly question, but is it's there a speci- like a regimented template for CVs? There is. Yeah. Um, and there's there's my style. <laughs> so <laughs> could people joking. come to Gloucester Works and could they yeah. ask you to help them? We will do CVs for people. If they can't do them, say you, you've got generally three types of people. People that have never done a CV in their lives. People that have done it, got an idea about doing a CV okay. but have no computer skills so they okay. won't be able to type it themselves. You've got somebody who um, has really good computer skills but they just need a bit of help with the format. We can help anybody with any of those three. If they're able and they just want to get it done, we can send them on a training day that they can do it there and then or we can literally, I can do an interview with them, get them to write a draft and get one of the administrators and I'll and our, our team to type it for them and then we edit it so if you literally just want a cv and that's all you want help with we just call it ring us on oh eight double zero double zero two nine eight three eight book a space with an advisor and we can sort out that and we can look at training needs as well so you know okay. and does any of this cost at all no, it's, it's a free service to it's everybody. A free service, so it's a free service, yes. So people have no excuse, really. The thing is, if you want to work, this is just this is my opinion. This is not Gloucester Works opinion. Okay. If you really, really want to work and you're willing to do what you're advised to do, you will get a job. It might not be the job of your dream to start with. You've got to be take realistic. A while as well. It might take a while. Yeah. I mean, like for example, you're si- you're yourself. You're 16. Yes. If you said I want to be a manager in um, Topshop. That's not realistic because you've got, you haven't got enough experience in retail to get a manager's position. But it would, it is realistic for you to get a part-time retail role in that shop because it's about developing you as well. So, yeah, at Gloucester Works, we provide a free service. We will help you with CV. We will send you on training courses. And it's all free of charge. 
that's why we will and you can be employed or unemployed as well so if you're in a job and you really want to get a better job or you want to have a career change we can still provide training for you as long as you're um you work in gloucester yes but say you work in gloucester so you live in um, Cheltenham, but you work in Gloucester. We can still help you as an employed person. It's only if you live in Cheltenham and you work in Cheltenham that the support is limited, but we can still do your CV. We can still do some careers advice and point you in direction of funding that you could get full further training. So we can help anybody. Just pick up the phone. See, I know that sounds really silly, but I never, I never realised that. Yeah, so if you said to me, oh, Monique, can you look at my CV and help me create it for you? What would happen is you would either get booked into one of our job hubs around the city. So we do them in Barton and Treadworth here at the Community Trust. We do one in Matson, Churchdown, Poets Corner, Podsmead. We do one at the library, which is really, really popular. Um, and we do one at Credgley as well. So we'd either book you into one of those venues or we'd book you in to see one of the advisors that are based um, at the City Council, Phil Potts Warehouse. So so what would happen, they'll just say, okay, then I'll book in for an appointment, spend about an hour with you and we get everything put into motion and then it's, it's more or less done. So these, the, your next ones during February. Yeah. Um, it's the 22nd today. So your last one for February is Thursday 24th. Yeah, it goes to library. And that's from two till seven with you. Two, two till five. Two till five. Not so don't say seven. We won't be, I'll be at home, hopefully. Two till five. And that's with yourself and... And Jason Denfer is my colleague. We do the same role. So um, do are these spaces filling up rapidly? Or? We are absolutely booked out, but we have made provisions. So still ring up. We we like to see people within a two-week period, okay. at the very least. So, a lot. Uh, it's only because lately, um, obviously, with the lots of redundancies around the county, that we've we've noticed a, a, a lot, a, a massive increase. But a lot of the people that we've worked with have got jobs to go to already. Yes. So they're sinners. We've done their CV. They've applied for some roles because we help with job search as well. We've got. Um, uh, an employee that specifically searches for jobs and she sends us jobs and we send them out to our clients so they can apply for them and it's we have actually um businesses have rang us and we've given them the whole workforce from our client pool oh, right. yeah we've done stuff we've done a lot of stuff like that so um and we've had people set their own business you know about um um i've forgotten on toast Okay. if I can promote that. <laughs> but um, we've worked with uh, David Purchase as well, funding some training for him okay. um, to assist him with his business. So we've worked with a lot of people around the county. So And um, so if you've missed any of the February ones, there's it's the same location, so Barton and Treadworth Community, mm. mm-hmm. Matson, yeah. Churchdown, Quedgley or Varying, all the way through March as well. Isn't yeah, it? it's going to be... booked out already yeah, as well. They're not booked out. Not all okay. of them, but you can just phone up. Just phone up. If we can't fit you into a job hub, then we will fit you in to a one-to-one at the office. So you can be seen. Yeah. And once you've been seen, we'll give you a careers advice assessment to see where you are and where you want to get to and then put some action plan in place. Okay. So um, would you like to add anything else on? Anything important we've missed out? Um, not really. The only thing I would say is that if you are struggling to find work and you want some support, even if it's just advice, just give us a call. Um, Gloucester Works on 0800 002 9838. Book an appointment with us. You've got nothing to lose. Exactly. But everything to gain, I say. Oh. <laughs> and also, if you, like, if you don't try, then you really will never know. No. And you can't say you've put your 100% effort into it. I don't think so. If you're struggling to write a CV or you've been applying for jobs and you're not getting any feedback and you just wonder why, just come and see us. We'll have a look at your CV, go through some interview techniques because it might be something about how you're doing your application. That's why they're not even giving you a second look. So we'll be able to diagnose that right word, that, yep. the problems for you and then okay. try and steer you in the right direction. Okay, so thank you very much. And once again, you've got to ring 0800... 002-9838 and you'll get through to Gloucester Works and they'll do everything they can to help you. Yeah, we will. Okay, thank, thank you. you for coming in. Please tune in carefully because you're listening to the Community Link Crew on GFM 96.6.